frugal February and my fridge has died. Murphy's Law. But focusing on the positive, um, the freezer is okay, so all the meat and fish and stuff like that is perfectly fine, so that's not going to spoil. Also, I worked out that this fridge is almost 13 years old, so you know what? It's actually had a really good life. And another positive thing to think about is um, I'm sure I'm going to find something that is far more energy efficient, oops, it's beeping at me, um, far more energy efficient um, with much better technology. So I'm focusing, staying strong, staying positive. Also, I remember this morning with my cash rewards program, um, they have appliances online and they also have Bingley. I will get up to 3.5% cash back in like paid back commission through cash rewards. So um, I've, I don't know if you guys are aware, but I've actually set myself a challenge to see how quickly I can save up $1,000 using my cash reward program. So that's going to be really fun. It all adds up and it helps. Okay. Staying positive. So we're back at Target because somebody lost their Blade Runner and we're buying a new one with strict rules. If this one gets lost, it will not be replaced. Sugar Mama's getting tough. As you guys know, my grocery bill has blown out. And this is due to Rocco starting school and eating a packed lunch every day and Tom also wanting lunch um, every day at work. So this has presented the ideal opportunity for me to go through my budget and look at the way that I do my grocery shop, what the, the ingredients that I'm buying, the meals that I'm making and things, come up with solutions as to how to keep my grocery bill down. Now, I actually recommend everyone on a regular basis checks in with their budget to make sure that you're sticking to it, to make sure you're not being wasteful and to make sure that you're always looking for ideas or solutions to save more money as well as earn more money. So I highly recommend it. And this is exactly what I'm about to do is redo my budget. And the moment I've done it, I will update my sugar budget app so that I have my new and up-to-date banking instructions. And I don't have to worry about you know, eating into my savings, eating into my emergency money, but I can stick to the new budget. So a really family, fun, friendly, but frugal Friday night at Canterbury. You to the raceway, free entry for everyone, free pony rides for the kids, free petting zoo for the kids. They also have bouncing castles and the most amazing wide range of high quality street food from paellas to pizzas, to dumplings, to craft beers, um, to juices, pretty much all the street food you could possibly imagine and absolutely delicious. So really frugal. I highly recommend going. I took Rocco and he and my goddaughter Lottie. And you guys had fun? Yeah. And they ran around like maniacs for ages. This morning I'm working from home and this is the perfect opportunity to call all my utility providers, my bank, and also Foxtel to see if I can negotiate a better deal. No harm can come from trying, and if they say no, at least I know I'm on a great rate. Wow, that was really fast. I did Foxtel first, and I asked to be put through to the cancel my account department. Amazingly, I was talking to a human being within minutes, and also within minutes, they knocked $15 per month off my Foxtel bill. Now. Normally, I would cancel my Foxtel bill because I don't actually watch television. However, Tom would put my head on a chopping board if I cancelled Foxtel because that would mean cancelling the sports package. So I, I net not as successful, but I'm okay with it. Um, I could have actually gone down to a cheaper monthly internet plan, but it would have slowed down my speed. And because I upload so many videos to YouTube each week, it just wasn't worth it. That $10 savings just didn't add up for me. So I now actually am quite comfortable knowing what I'm paying per month and I think it's fair value for money. So I'm happy with that. I just got off the phone from Origin Energy and they confirmed I'm on the most competitive package they have available. So on my energy bill, I'm getting a discount of 26% and on my gas bill, a discount of 21%. So I'm quite proud of that. Now, last on my list is my bank. My personal banking is with Commonwealth Bank and I have spoken to my mortgage broker and he has confirmed that I'm actually on the I have the biggest discount possible for the size of my loans and my portfolio so he has put my mind at ease that I am getting great value for money we are off to a play date and what have we packed 
banana bread. Banana bread, and it's from Burke Street Bakery. It is the best banana bread. It's about six dollars a loaf, so it is more expensive, but less is better. Um, high quality ingredients, much tastier, and much more satisfying. Yay! Looking forward to it. We took them here, and we also have yeah. <laughs> I craved. I got them push pops. I used to love these as a little girl. <laughs> So the other day I got to have a working lunch with my girlfriend Svetlana and it was so nice to catch up with her because we were able to share ideas, inspirations, tips and tricks, contacts and just have a really nice catch up and we went to a great cafe called Jackie's in Paddington. Anyway, Svetlana has this amazing business called Bon Voyage and they, she makes these amazing high quality ethically made luxury monogrammed goods. So kind of like the daily edited, but the vegan friendly, cruelty free friendly version. Um, everything she makes is just of the highest quality materials. It's considered within, you know, made with consideration towards the environment, the working conditions and really good quality craftsmanship. And it's such appropriate timing because I'm really trying to embrace the less is better, which includes trying to have less animal consumption in my life. So I wanted to use this as a great opportunity to share with you guys what she has made because it's absolutely gorgeous. Knowing that I um, have to travel a lot with work, uh, sorry, not with work, with Tom's work for racing, um, she gave me this incredible, beautiful hat box. So often when I travel, I travel with my hats in these like cardboard boxes and they get smashed around because you have to take them on carry on luggage. They go through the x ray machines and they can, the hats, I've had my hats, which can be quite expensive, get really damaged. But look at how beautiful. This is and it is so durable and it's not made of leather even though it looks like the you know the, the Prada Saffiano leather it's not at all and she monograms absolutely everything and she's also got matching scarves to go with these hat boxes but so chic and elegant also she makes these beautiful really classic and timeless toiletry cases matching um, luggage tags as well of course she does the um, actual phone cases as well and she does a range of them so you can get all the different ones for the iPhone and everything comes in these beautiful boxes so it's so chic and elegant and she, what she her mission is is to try and make vegan friendly cruelty free friendly high quality goods that are luxury because she felt that there was a gap in the market where people sort of associate those things with lesser quality and she wanted to kind of break that mold. So if you get a moment and you're someone who is trying to also consume less animal products in their life, definitely go and check out Bon Voyage. But so tonight I'm doing a home spa treatment, very frugal, and I'm embracing my zero waste. So to get me started, I have my Korean charcoal face mask. I have my homemade and very frugal coffee body scrub for in the shower. I do that, I'm gonna use my body brush. Now this is probably about like three or four years old. It's great because it lasts forever. So it's a really frugal purchase and it's great for cellulite and circulation and the lymphatic system. And then to finish it off, Embracing less but better, um, my Douglas Piera um, Skin Elixir Clarifying. Um, it's like a, I guess a serum slash lotion. Whenever I smear this all over my face, I get so many questions as to what I have done. And this is vegan, cruelty-free friendly, plant-based, organic, and absolutely amazing. So I will link in the video description box below um, where you can get this from. And this is actually where I buy all my daily skincare treatment as well. I almost forgot one of the best savings of all, my nails. Now, at the beginning of each month, I would always go get a pedicure, and occasionally, depending on if I've got like special events on, maybe shellac on my hands. So that can cost anywhere between 30 to 50 to 80 dollars sometimes. But for Frugal February, I did not do this, and my nails have never looked healthier. And to be honest, if you just keep them short and clean, you don't necessarily need to always go and get lots of paint on your toes. It's actually kind of nice to let them have a breather and embrace the natural look. Now that Frugal February is almost over, I can let you know that I have not bought any clothes at all with the exception of one packet of underpants for Rocco. Now I don't necessarily buy clothes every single month, but 
One thing this has made me aware of knowing that I definitely cannot buy any clothes for Frugal February is that I want to be more mindful of when I do buy things. And during this month, I realized I actually need to get some more bras and I need to get one special dress for an occasion. But it's made me aware I don't want to just go out and buy whatever. I actually want to spend a lot more time planning and preparing and doing my research before I go and buy something. All right, that's a wrap. Frugal February and round three of the $1,000 project have officially finished this afternoon. I am exhausted, but I'm also really happy. Now, I have sat down and gone through my internet banking, looked at all the deposits that I've made during the month of Frugal February, and worked out exactly to the cent of how much money I have saved. And I've added it all up. And I have saved, and this blows me away, $657.50. Now, that comes from a combination of different things, but boy, does it add up. It comes from having quieter weekends, not by being completely antisocial, but just not doing as many things. Those little savings of $30 here, $40 there, really added up over the course of a month. I also didn't buy any clothes, and not that I give myself a large monthly allowance, that also helped. I also saved money on beauty products, things like not going and getting a manicure or pedicure, making my own beauty products, also having facials at home. And then the other saving has been around food, in particular, taking my lunch to work. And that is probably been the most satisfying savings that I have been able to create for myself because I can gives me flexibility as to how I want to spend those savings. So that is how it all adds up. Now, to me, $657.50 is a lot of money. Even half of that is a lot of money. So I'm really proud to put this towards my last $1,000 for round three of the $1,000 project. And next week, I will be sharing with you exactly how much money I have saved, hustled, and invested for the $1,000 project, round three. What the big, big news is that I'm going to be sharing with you. And I'm also going to show, share with you exactly where that money has been invested. You are going to see all the stocks in the portfolio. So you can see exactly what I've been up to and what the passive income is. And of course, that passive income will be donated to Rise Up Australia. Now, my next question to you guys is, how do you feel about doing Manifesting March or Manifesting May or Minimalism March or Minimalism May? Let me know what you think because these challenges just keep on coming and they're a lot of fun. All right, everyone, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And I am off to go and celebrate the end of this, taking myself me, myself, and I, all by myself, to go I have a date night alone, my favorite cuisine, Japanese. And I am going to order whatever I feel like, and it doesn't matter, because I am proud of my savings.